Hello viewers, today I'm at Siam Paragon, probably the preeminent shopping mall here in Thailand. We're in the basement floor where all the restaurants, the food court is over there. And it looks like all the tourists are back, so it's very crowded. And the air pollution is going to be horrible soon. Traffic is definitely bad nowadays. Today we're going to go check out one of my favorite restaurants called Piri Piri. There's a few locations, we'll look at the menu see where the other locations are. And uh, it's a basically a roasted chicken place. And they have these awesome sauces that you can put on, you know, the, the chicken or the french fries. In addition to the actual sauces that come on the chicken. Uh, I haven't been here in probably a year, maybe two years because of COVID. But I've been to this chain, oh, 20 times at least because it is good, those sauces. So I'm just walking you through the basement here, showing you a couple other restaurants. There's always a lot of turnover of businesses here. <clears throat> so if you come to a shopping mall one month, the next month there's probably going to be a new restaurant in there because something closes and something new opens up. Yeah, like this is new. I haven't seen that boost before. It's around 12 o'clock on a Friday, just to give you an idea. So it's quite crowded. Some students are out of school. So now I'm more towards the west side of the uh, shopping mall. This place has traditional Thai desserts which are generally really sweet in my opinion. I haven't seen this before, this is new, at least to me. Hmm, wow, that place may have gone out of business. Let's take a look around here. This whole thing is new, so I have a suspicion it used to be right here. Might have to do a different video then. Oh, here it is, thank goodness. Yeah, I find it odd that this would go out of business because it is so tasty. So, this is a big one. Piri Piri Flaming Grill. Let's see, I think they got some new things. Yeah, these are pretty new. Chicken livers. I've never seen that on the menu. A couple other dishes there. Got some beverages here. The burgers are okay, but you really want to get the roasted chicken so you can enjoy the sauce. And the french fries are good too. So let me grab a seat here. <clears throat> Let's go grab a comfortable seat. Set the cap. I'll do a little people watching. All right, so here are the sauces. You have a Thai salsa, which is somewhat similar to seafood sauce, but not really. Sweet chili, hot chili, and extra hot. All right, let's look at this menu here. Yeah, the menu looks new as well. So a lot of things are changing from COVID. For a taste of the Mediterranean. I did not know this was a Mediterranean restaurant. All right. Got some starters, salads, soups. But here you go. It, it makes no sense to buy a breast of chicken when you can get a whole half of chicken for only 60 baht more. And then you could obviously get a whole chicken as well. I usually get the half chicken. So all these sauces are good. I've tried every one of them. I like the Moroccan spiced chicken because it's so different from the sauces in the bottles. So I'm gonna get that one. And it comes with french fries or a salad. I think you have to pick one of the, or actually maybe both actually. Ah, there's some combo platters. Grilled meats. I think, I just thought this is a Portuguese restaurant, but I guess I'm wrong. Pastas, beverages, kids menu, 
and you can actually buy the bottles of uh, sauce for 325 baht each. You're gonna have a 7% government tax and a 10% service charge. So basically 17%. All right, so now they got these locations. Here we are at Paragon. Emporium is on the same Sukhumvit. Terminal 21 is a Sukhumvit, but there's one at Terminal 21 in Pattaya. That's a different city. Don Wang Airport is a small Bangkok airport. Domestic flights. Trendy Building Soy 13, I've never been to that one. And then W District Prakanong, that's also near Sukhumvit. But uh, I haven't been to that. So a few new locations have opened up for sure. Here's their website if you want to check it out, see their full menu. All right, let me get an order in. So if you look at this little rounded sign, it does say Portuguese there. So this is a Portuguese restaurant. I just didn't know Portugal is considered part of the Mediterranean because the Port Portugal is on the Atlantic Ocean. It, has, it doesn't actually touch the Mediterranean Ocean to my understanding. Spain does, but not Portugal. Doesn't matter. Uh, since I'm waiting for my food, I thought I would show you the sauces again. Uh, you actually should shake them up. You see the sauce here isn't actually mixed. So I'm going to go and shake it up and then I'll show you the consistency as I pour it out of this thing. These, I've actually sat here and like ordered a, a plate of french fries and eaten like half a bottle of this sauce. And if a bottle of this sauce is 325 baht, I guess I'm getting a good deal. So look how thick this is. It's like, there you go. Don't worry, I will go through all of that. Here's uh, the sweet chili, but you can see down here again, it's a very liquidy, liquid at the bottom, but thick at the top. That one's really thick. Let's see if we can get this out. So it's like a kind of reminds me of a ketchup as far as its density goes. All right, sweet chili still has a bunch of chilies. I I can't remember if it's spicy or not. Probably not when you have two others called hot and extra hot. So if you look at this again, uh, here's my food. Okay. All right, and then the last one we might as well get that out. So we got, yeah, quite a lot of. I'm guessing maybe that's oil down there. Maybe it's water. It's so thick, it's hard to shake. All right. All right, so got those in that order. So here's the food. So the French fries here, they're like steak fries. And I like to, love to dip these in the sauce. Let me uh, do the sauce here first. Hmm. So the Thai salsa, it has like a hint, you know, somewhat similar to the seafood sauce you always see here, the green chili seafood sauce. It's similar, but also a little different. It's got a lot of citrus in it, and it's, and it's spicy, by the way. Okay, here's a sweet chili sauce. It's not, it's actually not very sweet. There is some sugar in there, but not, not much. So that's pretty spicy also. All right, now the hot sauce. Mm. It's hot. It's almost like the same sauce without sugar. That's the impression I'm getting. But now the extra hot. You can clearly see it's much redder. You get a vinegary, a little bit of vinegar in there. Well, not much. It's mostly chili peppers, but 
it's not immediately hot you know no, it's not like a Dave's hot sauce or something anyways it does build up on you though after you eat a lot of it okay so your utensils are, are in this little plastic baggie so here's a half chicken I suspect this chicken might be actually more natural because it's not huge but this Moroccan sauce I have it I got on it is quite good mm. it's unlike any other sauce I've ever had in my life it's a little bit sweet not much though like 5% sweet and I can't ma really make out the other flavors but it's not Indian food I guess it's Moroccan it's a relatively mild flavor I guess it is kind of similar to a curry, but it's, it's, I guess, just unique. I like it. It's my favorite flavor here because it's different. So you can see me, uh, you know, pulling away here at the skin. It's pretty uh, soft chicken. Mmm. Yeah, very soft, at least there on the dark meat. The breast is a breast, right? So it's always going to be a little bit uh, drier. But still moist. I wouldn't call it dry. So it does come with a nice salad that's actually green. You know, it's not wilted or anything like that. Very fresh. I think it's just in a vinaigrette sauce. Let me see. Yeah, it's an Italian vinaigrette. It's fine. So what I like to do is just eat all the chicken with the Moroccan sauce, right? And then when I get into the bare chicken like this, that's when you start whipping out this stuff. You know, I just dunk it in there. It's absolutely, all these sauces are so good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. If I'm still hungry, I might just get an order of fries and just sit here and eat fries and sauce again. For a heads up, I know I don't have any subscribers, this channel's too new. But in uh, two weeks, I'm going to be going to the United States for three months. So I know there's a lot of Thai people subscribing to my channel. If you want to see what food is going to be like in America, and also how fat people are in America, I'm going to show you. Mmm. Delicious. And then yes, the french fries as well. Or go crazy, get a little chicken, a little french fry, and then some sauce. So good. So, as I'm eating this sauce, it's not immediately spicy, but it is building up in my the back of my mouth. By the end of this meal, I'm gonna be sweating. It's that kind of that kind of heat. It's a slow and persistent heat. That you can, and that's I think why I can eat a half a bottle of this stuff. It's not until the very end that I realize I ate so much spicy food. Yeah, maybe some Moroccan chicken and a French fry. Hmm. All right. So if you come to Thailand, I think this is one of the dishes you should try to have if you like roasted chicken or if you like hot sauce. Because if you're a tourist, you might want to even consider buying a, a bottle of, or two of these sauces to take back with you. You know, if you like the barbecue at home and stuff, or if you just like french fries. All right, so Paragon, the basement of Paragon here is fantastic. I don't remember seeing this get fresh place either. You could just come here probably for two straight weeks and eat at a different restaurant every day and night because there's a bunch of restaurants on the top floor as well. There's probably like at least 50 restaurants, maybe 100 restaurants in this shopping mall. So I highly recommend it, and that's why it's always so crowded here, because there is so much variety. All right, I thought I'd give you guys an update. At this stage, I'm actually full right now. I didn't even finish this chicken. But I'm not gonna be in this country for three months. 
So I actually went ahead and ordered a plate of french fries so I can eat the fries, the chicken, and the sauce at the same time. So this was my breakfast and lunch I just had. Now I'm going to have a plate of french fries for my dinner. And this might be the only meal I eat today. But it's just so good. And again, I'm not going to be here for months. So I just wanted to let you know. So the french fries come in a little basket. Seems a pretty decent amount. I have no idea how much it costs, so we'll find out the bill. But uh, now I'm going to enjoy the rest of my chicken, the fries, and more of this sauce. All gone. That's probably the best like basket of french fries you can have in this country with this sauce here. So, you got to thinking, what's in these sauces? I'm not sure if my camera's going to pick that up, but this green sauce, those are the ingredients there. Chili, vinegar, sunflower oil, fish sauce. That might be what makes it so unique. Here's a sweet chili one. I didn't eat too much of that one. So they're the ingredients of that one. All right, and then the hot chili. Let's see what we have here. See, it's just with herbs, spices, and salt. So they're smart. They're not telling you what's in these. So, and then the extra hot. Yeah, oil, herbs, spices, salt. But you can see here, these bottles are pretty much full when I got here. <laughs> and now I've eaten, yeah, at least half a bottle of hot sauce. So I feel like I got my money's worth. Let me get the bill. Okay, the bill has arrived. Oh, it's all in English as well. Hopefully the camera's focusing properly. So $2.95 for half a chicken with the salad and the french fries. A Coke Zero is 55 baht, so that's like three times the normal price. But, you know, I just ate a, like 200 baht of hot sauce. And that french fry basket was 110 baht. That's actually pretty reasonably priced, I think. So there's the service and the tax. So this meal was 540 baht. Maybe that's like, maybe $19, 18 bucks. The exchange rate is changing quite a bit these days. So that was a pretty expensive lunch, but it was absolutely wonderful. If you're, again, if you like french fries, you like hot sauce, you like roasted chicken, everything here was really good. Okay, well thanks for watching today. I'll see you at the next restaurant. Bye now.